them in a day in May. Hi, my name is Jesse Knudsen Castaneda, and this is Lollipop. I'm the founder and director of an animal rescue and education organization called Animal Wonders, where we have a YouTube channel called Animal Wonders Montana. I'm also the host for a kids' science channel called SciShow Kids. Lollipop is a striped skunk and an awesome animal ambassador. Today, I'm your guest host for Everyday Science, and this week we're all about compounds. Compounds are just combinations of elements. Working with a wide variety of wild animals, I get to experience a whole array of interesting smells. When asked about what I wanted to talk about today, I was immediately drawn to one of the most popular, potent animal smells, skunk spray. Skunks are equipped with the amazing ability to manufacture and launch an attack of compounds to deter predators that are many times their size. They do this by using the element sulfur and combining it with another element to create a compound. Sulfur is the 16th element on the periodic table, represented by the letter S. Sulfur alone is odorless. It's sometimes referred to as brimstone, and it's one of the essential elements for life itself. So sulfur is pretty important and really interesting because it's used in so many ways. It's in a whole bunch of different compounds, from mustard gas, which is used in chemical warfare, to sulfa drugs, which are a valuable antibiotic, to sulfuric acid, which is one of the most widely used compounds on Earth. Sulfur compounds are incredibly diverse, but let's get back to lollipop. Skunk spray is made of a handful of compounds, but the most prominent is a group called thiols. Thiols are simply one atom of sulfur combined with one atom of hydrogen. This combination turns the odorless sulfur into a force to be reckoned with. Just like sulfur, thiols are also very diverse. They can be found in garlic and onions and even keratin, which makes our hair and nails. The thiols in skunk spray are the perfect defense because they're volatile, meaning that they're easily dispersed in the air. When launched out of the nether regions of a skunk, the thiols fly through the air towards the face of their attacker. They're quickly inhaled, stick to their fur, and get into their eyes. Now, I generally don't smell a lot of skunk spray up close and personal. It's usually while I'm driving with the windows open on a late spring day, and I smell a slight whiff of a day or two old to see skunk that had to run in with a car. Personally, I don't really mind the smell. I almost enjoy it. Weird, I know. But this mild aroma is nothing, nothing compared to the full force of fresh skunk spray. The real deal is truly horrific. This oily substance sticks to fur and skin and burns. It gets into your eyes and burns, making you go temporarily blind. And it smells so darn awful that you might even vomit. So your first instinct might be to immediately wash it off. But stop! Wait! Don't get it wet. Skunk spray has a backup, an encore of sorts. Three thiol acetate derivatives of thiols that aren't as stinky as the thiols themselves, but once they're mixed with water, they pack another punch. Which is why you can catch the smell of long past skunk spray on a damp or rainy day. Which brings us to, if you can't get rid of the stinky sulfur compounds with water, how do you get rid of the smell? By changing the stinking compounds into non-stinky compounds, of course, you just have to oxidize the thiols into sulfonic acids. Say your dog got sprayed by the super stinky thiols of a local skunk because they thought chasing skunks was cool. Not cool. To remove the odor, or rather rearrange the compounds to be less repugnant, I recommend putting some hydrogen peroxide in a spray bottle and then spritzing down the victim where affected, and then put on gloves and rub in some baking soda. This effectively oxidizes the compounds and changes them from the overwhelmingly pungent thiols and thioacetates to non-odorous sulfonic acids. To remove the oily mess left behind, rub in some dish soap, like Dawn, and then, only then, wash it off with warm water. Sulfur and sulfur compounds are really interesting to learn about and study. I love that sulfur is literally necessary for life, but it's also used to create some unholy scent that comes out of a skunk bum. That's pretty awesome. Thank you for letting Lollipop and me join you today. Happy Compound Week. Element